Hey everybody, I decided to um, create a, a pretty quick video for you just to talk a little bit about the um, the celebrity social media research project and some adjustments to the course schedule. So um, let me talk about the cele celebrity social media. So um, most of you have uh, at least started your post and that's what I asked you to do um, but as you can see here I'm just looking at the first section there's a lot of people who have not um, posted at all um, let me so if you can please um, let's say it's okay if, if the things are a little bit delayed by um, let's say by Friday um, uh, or even tonight would be better if you can at least start your post um, and yeah, we have only a few people, um, not even half the class in the second section. Um, I just want to, um, point out Serena's because, um, remember the, the first part of the post, you are supposed to, um, pull some definitions from the reading, um, about imagine social relationships, um, and what they mean. Um, and again, and I'll, I'll go over the guidelines again, um, but I just wanted to highlight hers um, because she's already started um, pulling some images from the social media. Um, so she's going to look at Blake Lively and uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. And remember that the idea um, for having two people is to be able to compare the differences um, or in or similarities in, in how they use social media and also the differences um, in how they use um, different um, different platforms of social media like the differences between now granted Instagram and Facebook as um, you all know is the same company and sometimes um, it's just instant you, you can set it up so that when it po you post on one, you post to the other. Um, it would be interesting to know if uh, Blake Lively um, uses them differently. Um, and so the idea is that once you get your initial post up there, then keep on doing some research, um, kind of pull your observations, and then um, in your second round, or when you update it, talk a little bit more um, about what um how the the people are using um social media so i mean here she's already doing a little bit of um doing some comparison um so yes and the idea is that also kind of similar to the um my story especially since a lot of you might be familiar with some of these um celebrities is to make comments on each other's observations um so if you see something that you um, agree on or you don't agree or some an observation the person didn't um, didn't make, then um, just chime in there and just make a quick like one or two sentence comment. And um, and then for example, if someone comments on what Serena um, uh, is talking about, um, let's say about Leonardo DiCaprio, then she can also reply back to that person um, in her thread on the replies uh, on, on the comments aspect. Um, and you certainly don't need to do that on um, most people. So if, in fact, if what we could do, if you could come in here and, um, and change your topic name to the name of the celebrities. So that way, if I, um, like if she came in here and she said um, uh, analysis of Blake Lively and Leonardo DiCaprio or just their names, um, because we can all see your names here, right? So you don't have to have your name in there, but just their names. Um, then if I'm another student, I can look in there and say, oh, I'm interested in Blake Lively. And so I'm going to click in and read what she said, and then I'll make a comment. Um, and so just, um, comment on two or, or three other students. You don't have to read everyone's. Um, I know that would be a kind of a, a burden, but, um, this is going to be part of my grading rubric. And again, the, the idea behind this is just to kind of simulate what we would do in a class, right? So in a classroom, in the classroom setting, um, probably on a Thursday you would come in and just do an informal um, presentation and you would bring up your post 
and you would say, well, you know, who I chose was uh, Blake Lively and Leonardo DiCaprio, and here's some of the sim the similarities and differences, and, and uh, Serena would just kind of talk informally about it for a few minutes, and um, and usually someone else would have um, kind of a comment based on, on her observations and their knowledge of those celebrities, or if they had a celebrity who um, did uh, had a similar strategy in their postings. So... Um, with that, and, and just remember to, to read through these guidelines again, because I do want you um, and just to kind of show that you've done the reading and also to, um, to kind of prime your mind on kind of what you're looking for, because um, you're also looking for if there's kind of what kind of fan inter interaction there is. Like some of these celebrities will have a fair amount of uh, fan um, interaction. Others, <clears throat> excuse me, it would only be... Um, the fans kind of interacting with each other. Um, and you can certainly get into, if you want to, the broader kind of um, fan community. And that, that's going to kind of um, dovetail into our next topic, um, the next research project that's going to start um, next week. So um, with that in mind, I <clears throat> have made a few adjustments. So I started thinking that, um, especially since people are going to be commenting on each other's posts, sometimes that takes, you need to, um, as a professor, give some extra time for that to happen, um, just because it's not like you're going to be coming to the Moodle site, you know, six or seven times a day, it's kind of a burden. So um, just to allow for conversations to flow, I wanted to make more time. So what I did um, in the schedule was actually threw out um, the last uh, research project before the exam, which was focusing on um, globalization, and um, it was called the Transnational Advertising Project. And I, I decided just to get rid of that. I, mean, I do really like that project; it's a fun project. But um, these other ones, I think, are going to be fun too. So, and with that in mind, I kind of um, lengthened the um, the next to this social media um, analysis, and then the um, online fan community as religion um, analysis to be from kind of lasting about f like six days to lasting like more like eight days. And then the last one here called the Tech um, Evolution um, Research Project, that's going to last <clears throat> um, closer to almost two weeks. So really probably more like, um, like uh, 11 days or so. <clears throat> just to give you more time, and um, in terms of grading, um, I'm going to, and I'll show you the, the rubric later, but I'm going to um, combine these, uh, the social media, or celebrity social media and fans online together as a grade, as I'm kind of like pointing out what I'm looking for, um, you know, because these are different kinds of projects, especially now that we're doing it online, and then the tech evolution um, and you're going to have more time for that research um, will be a bigger part of the grade. Just because of that point, you'll have a, a better sense of um, of how to do it, and um, we'll have seen more videos on me talking about it. Um, and just a heads up, what I and I'll talk more about this a lot later. Um, what I've decided for the exam, um, you know, at this point we're just doing this kind of small selections from the chapters. And, um, you know, I don't know what other professors are doing for exams, but I don't want to uh, stress you out and and, um, and kind of, you know, do the, the, the normal type of exam thing. So we're going to do a, an essay question for the exam that you're going to have a couple, um, a couple, several days to work on. So I'm going to give you a, a few options between um, different questions you can answer and you'll select one and you'll have a few days to prepare it. Um, kind of not not dissimilar to the research projects that we're going to be doing, except for that um, it will only be me reading your um, your essay, so there won't be any kind of like um, interaction for that. So I just want to point that out, um, be, so for you not to kind of stress out and worry about um, the exams or um, you know when you're doing the reading for the s for the chapters, it's more kind of to get you primed and better to understand. Now, some of the research projects, like um, the Tech Evolution one, will kind of ask you to know some um, 
some terms from the reading and I'll tell you what they are and kind of apply them in the projects. So it, it will, those, that reading will impact your grade, but um, it won't be kind of reading that you're going to have to know the terms later on in the, um, in the final exam. So I just want to let you know that. So, um, so everything's updated here. So we have um, the celebrity we're working on now, then about, um, like I said, about eight days on online fan communities and then longer. Um, and you can see, um, let me gray this out, switch roles to student. Yeah, so I, as a professor, I can think, see, see the things that have, um, I've hidden. But um, so now this is correct. So um, in the middle of next week, we'll be getting to fans online uh, research project and then the longer tech evolution project um, and then um, the final exam. So and for the final on that last week um, of classes, we will I'll have a, um, a Zoom meeting just to make sure everyone's kind of clear of what's going on, um, like how the final exam is going to work basically um, and if there's any questions. Um, let's see, do I have anything else? Let me come back here to Celebrity. So I, I've updated the um, the weeks here. Um, so if, if you go to um, next week, you'll see that say, okay, start of the week, um, we're going to wrap up the social media forum discussion. So by Monday night. So basically I'm hoping this weekend for, um, again, once you all rename um, the titles there so that people can more easily see who um, which celebrities you're going to be looking at, then people can kind of chime in this weekend and comment on a couple of the um, of the research projects and wrap that up. So um, I will probably be sending, I'll, I'll probably produce my video on, um, on Monday or Tuesday morning and send it out. And in the video for next week, I will kind of go and look at some of the examples um, and talk about um, and show some students who kind of really did a good job following the guidelines. And then I will um, pull out some of the important terms for the reading for this next research project and um, and describe in more detail um, how it's supposed to be done. Granted, the, um, the directions are right here. But, um, and then we will be using, I need to create a second um, discussion forum. So there'll be a discussion forum for each section. And, um, and so it'll be similar to the celebrity social media project in terms of that, that the, the forum will be the kind of main um, technology that we will use. So if you have any questions, um, let me know. I'm going to switch back to my normal role just because there's certain things like it, it won't show me for some reason the um, the discussion for and comments so if you could all come in here and um, by um, again by tomorrow morning I like to see everybody in the class that has one um, has their beginning um, topic up and again if you can come in and change the title so the title is your um, the name of the, the celebrities that you've chosen, then it will make it easier for other students to come in and decide who they want to comment on. And so the discussion should range from um, Friday um, all the way through uh, Monday. And again, you don't um, don't have to spend tons of time reading other people's research. I just want you to comment on um, two or three other people. And, um, and don't forget also that you're supposed to be updating your posts at least once. So at least once you need to come through, once you've gathered your research, you've had some screenshot captures, you have some good ex um, graphic examples of the um, social media that you um, are making observations of and you know you, what you want to say, and at that point come in and, um, and uh, update. And that's really important because obviously if someone comes in here and they just see that you say, who you're looking at, um, who you're going to analyze in terms of their social media strategies, but you don't actually have the the um, your observations down yet, then they're they're not going to be able to say anything. So uh, as soon as you have that done, um, then update your post, and then at that point you're you're moving on to the discussion aspect. 
of the assignment. Okay, so everybody have a good weekend. Um, if you have any confusions, um, questions, just send me an email. Um, I've been responding to those emails pretty quickly. Um, and the um, the my story is all graded. I think I might have um, maybe one um, or two, but for the most part, those are graded. And um, and I check the grade book, and if um, if the grades are visible to students, then it shows it in a different um, shade. And so it does seem to me that those are visible, and it should be part of your total grade. So um, if you're considering whether or not you want to do the um, the pass fail or the normal letter grade for this class, then you can go and see what your total is for the course after um, the um, my story grade was added in there. Um, and they are allowing each um, each student to decide for each class. So um, you know if you have a few classes that are you're currently getting maybe um, an A or high B or something like that, then maybe you decide to do um, traditional letter grade for that, <clears throat> which would mean that it's going to be part of your GPA. And then if um, you know if you're getting a low B or a C plus or something like that, C, um, then you probably might want to consider choosing the pass fail option for that class. Um, okay, like I said, if anyone has any questions, just send me an email and have a great weekend and enjoy uh, your social celebrity social media research and enjoy um, commenting on each other's work. And I'll talk to you again on Monday.